Hey, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm going to chat a little bit about HDR video. HDR. If you're wondering what that symbol up there means or what HDR is, it stands for High Dynamic Range, which still doesn't clarify what it is. But in short, it gives you a nice wide range of really bright highlights and nice deep uh, shadows. So if you're viewing like a photo or a video, uh, it looks more realistic because you have a very wide range of colors as well as brightness levels. Whereas a video that's SDR or standard will look a little bit more uh, flat, I think is the way of describing it. Uh, however, you can make a lot of videos HDR by editing. So if you're curious if maybe you should record with the HDR setting in your iPhone, or should you record an SDR, we'll go over the differences and what it looks like uh, without editing and then with editing. And you might discover that you'll love HDR, but you may not need to actually record in HDR to achieve the same or in fact a better result. All right, let's dive into the iPhone settings as well as Final Cut Pro or really any video editing app if you want to create HDR video that looks wonderful even from an SDR clip. Hey, you'll be actually uh, relieved to know that you don't have to watch any videos from any sponsors today because I don't have any sponsors. I'll begin this tutorial with going into my iPhone settings and going into record video where we can see the option to toggle on or off HDR video. So I prefer to leave HDR video turned off to record in SDR. Now that we've created some SDR content, uh, let's go in to create a new project within Final Cut. I'll also create a new event so that I can have just a nice clean slate of media to work with um, as well. And I'll name this event something generic. Let's call it uh, SDR and HDR video. And once the event is made, we can now create a project. And of course, same thing, let's give this a name. Uh, of course, also select your um, orientation for the video, also frame rates, resolution. But for this video specifically, we'll focus on the color space. And we want to make sure we select an HDR video. So I like to do wide gamut in the Rec 2020 HLG. So not the standard, but the wide gamut HDR. And now we've selected that, we will go ahead and select OK to create our HDR project. I'm going to bring over one of these SDR videos that was actually shot in Pacifica, California. So if you actually like hiking, I highly recommend you check this spot out. It is beautiful. And I'm going to enter the same footage twice so that one of them I'll keep as an SDR clip. And then we'll compare that with one that we edit using the tools to make it an HDR clip. What you want to do is go to the editing pane, so towards the right side, and select that kind of prism icon. And this will open up some of the color, saturation, and exposure tools. Now we're going to select this dot on the right side, which uh, represents highlights. And you can move this and make your highlights darker. You can bring them uh, higher. And you should really see them pop when you uh, bring it up. And this is especially pronounced if you have a XDR display, such as with the MacBook Pro. And then we'll see that sometimes we might clip, so you don't want to go too high, just enough so that you get that nice little pop of the highlights. And then we can play with the mids, uh, so we can raise or decrease the uh, mid exposure level. And then we could also do the same for the shadows. And this is where you might want to get creative and play with different combinations of changing your shadows, your mids, your uh, highlights so that you get the nice range that you're looking for. And you can see that with this SDR clip, we have a really nice range that we can work with. So again, it feels kind of like having a raw file, but without the massive size of a true uh, raw video file. This is why I like recording in SDR specifically, is to have this range. You could also go into the saturation and you could have a lot of fun with playing with the different saturation levels. Again, you could uh, separate your mids, highlights, your shadows, and specify the saturation of those uh, as well. So Final Cut makes it really easy to adjust these manually if you needed to. 
So I'm going to show you first the SDR clip. This is just straight out of the iPhone uh, with no editing. So this is just the original SDR uh, Rec 709. And now we're going to transition to the HDR clip that now we've created. Yeah, you can see the difference, how this really stands out. The color just looks a lot more rich, and we see those highlights stand out. Now here's another example of SDR video straight from the iPhone with no editing. And of course, it looks a little bit flat, right? So, so not much going on. But once we do some changes, there we are to the exposure. Now those Yosemite Falls really pop. Uh, even the rocks have like this nice glow to them. You can see a little bit of blue from the sky in the top. And even the trees look nice, rich, and green. Now what if you don't want to edit and you just want to just have HDR turned on for you in the camera settings? Well, this is what HDR looks like uh, from the iPhone. Uh, this is without any editing. It looks great still. You have nice contrast between the falls and the rocks. But if you think that the water is a little bit overexposed, which I thought they were in some of these clips, we can't really undo that exposure. It's locked into the actual file of that HDR content. It looks great, but again, you're not going to be able to edit as much later. And then once you are done with editing any HDR content, especially in Final Cut, and you go to share, you will want to make sure that when you share that you do go into your settings and ensure that you are exporting an HDR file. So if you go to your video codec, do select the HEVC, uh, for example, 10-bit with HLG, which is your wide gamut. You do not want to select H.264 because that is going to be standard color and then you will get a warning uh, as well to tell you, whoa, you're doing an HDR project. You need to actually make this an HDR file. Uh, you may have noticed that I also am doing these um, compressed files uh, through Apple Devices 1080. Now you could actually go to share as a export file and choose one of these uh, ProRes files. However, though, these are stupid huge files. You know, it's like, tell me that you make hella money without telling me that you make a lot of money. Because you need so much storage to save these ProRes files. And trust me, even these HEVC files look wonderful. And in fact, this is how I'll be exporting this video project. Now, as far as like differences in file sizes, uh, I find that the HDR versus SDR, it's generally very similar. Uh, it does say that HDR uses maybe a little bit more space. However, what's going to really make the difference in file size, and you probably already know this recording, is if you go from like 1080 to 4K, or from, let's say, 30 frames a second up to 60 frames, that's what makes the biggest difference in file size. Cool, so I hope that helps you uh, when it comes to uh, filming on your iPhones or any phones that allow you to record in HDR. Um, please like and subscribe to the video if you found this helpful or enjoyable, and hope to see you again for another video. All right, guys, take care.